Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve your having an issue with Windows 10 or Windows 11 stuck at the please wait screen on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I want to just point out is you likely just need to give it some time to finish installing updates or performing whatever action it requires. So it may take 10 minutes, 20 minutes, a half hour. Just kind of step away from the computer and come back to it. If you're still seeing this screen hours and hours later and it hasn't been a major Windows update or you're upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, for example, in today's tutorial, that is what I'm going to be focusing on if you're still having an issue like that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest doing would be to boot into the advanced recovery options. So if you are able to sign in or log into Windows, maybe just every time you restart your computer, it says, please wait. Maybe you're still able to get into Windows, though. You want to select the power icon and then hold down the shift key on your keyboard while selecting restart. You can also do a hard power off three times in a row to also access the menu that we're about to go into. So even if you're unable to boot into Windows, you can just power off your computer three times in a row without letting it do a normal shutdown cycle and it should launch the advanced options as well. So underneath choose an option, select troubleshoot and then select advanced options. Select startup settings and then select restart. You want to tap the function key that corresponds to enable safe mode with networking, which is F5 in our case. Open up the search menu, type in services. Best match, or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Locate the Windows error reporting service. And double click on it. We're going to go ahead and disable that service. Select apply and OK. Close out of here. Right click on your start button. Select shut down or sign out and then select restart. And now that we're in Windows, hopefully you are, you want to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Once that is concluded, open up the search menu, type in services, best match, I'll come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Go down to the Windows Error Reporting Service again. And then we're going to enable that, or we should set it to manual. And then select Apply and OK. Close out of here, and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.